Hello folks and welcome back to By Spring as we're trying to leave the dealership. Bit of traffic here on a nice evening. Oh come on, move. But yeah, anyway, so go on and pick up the forge wagon and watch the move take you. And cut you up, just because we can. But yeah, so we've got the forge wagon here, and that is because we need to get some sides underway. I wasn't sure where our car was going. So we've got our field that we've done in the last episode, and we want to get that picked up, put into storage, and then as much as we can today, get the rest of it in, or as much as we can. I know we're going to get all of it in, but especially we'll leave our times free. Yeah, because they're uh, on real time or 0.5, but I want to keep it as it is at the moment. Just get as much as it done. Almost missed a turn in. But yeah, so. Also, we accepted some contracts. Haven't done any in between episodes because we're literally going straight from last episode. So we got a. Hay contract and two size contract so that's gonna be 20 grand that is useful because I didn't realize actually we're losing money and I'm guessing that's for the water for the cows and that don't be for car to get to our land I guess it's for a decent forge wagon we could have gone with a bigger one I know but it was just something I was thinking at the time yeah I wish we got a bigger one but you know what is what it is. As much as I was able to just return it and spend over two grand or whatever, two, three grand. Most likely three, four grand actually on what we want. On a particular forge wagon. And, oops, we forgot the storage additive, so. How much is that going to cost us? Where is that? Two. Pallets. Ah, three grand. You know what? So let's go and get that filled up and return to here. One sec. There we go. Got the slide additive. So yeah, let's go and start picking up these bits of grass. And I'm guessing once we get to the more chunkier piles, it's going to really just fill up very quickly. But yeah, I'll say about a third of it went to the cows last time for just grass feed because we may have slightly neglected them a bit with the food situation we're doing all the contracts. I'm not thinking about keeping them for the cows because I thought that food would last a bit longer. But nope, it did not. There we go, we're full ready. That's our first load of potential silage. That's the thing, it's picking up as well. Yeah, we've got a front loader and that. But the bucket is only one and a half thousand litres, so... It's going to be a very long pickup process unless we... I don't know, get a belt system in. Get a belt in that picks it up and that then... Something like that. There we go. Unload it in here. Oh, and we're stuck already. Move forward. And this is a huge clamp, this is. Just at first load. Very made a dent into it. So, you know what? Let's go and get the rest of this picked up, put it in, and see where we stand afterwards.
And there we go, that's that field done. And in total, not sure which did take too long actually, in fairness. Included it then in the out. That is 84,063 litres of potential soilage. And easy that is what? I'll say this is probably half a million litre capacity, I'll say. Yeah, about half a mil, give or take. Maybe 750k uh, push, but even the half a million litres. That is a nice amount of soilage, so. Yeah, the half a million litres of soilage is just over a quarter of a million we can get in February. But now we need to be on the hunt for more soilage. And that means more fields to cut. Also, we need to think about obviously tending to our fields, so. May do that in October, perhaps. Can we get away with it? If we do, then that's possibly harvest in July or August still, so we can get away with it. We can either do wheat, barley, canola, or oats, all provide straw, including canola, which I didn't realize until I did a contract getting canola straw. And now, here in as of today, recording this on. Thursday, Court Farms is getting canoe straw, but as well, sorghum would be a good one. Also, soybeans, we could do a field of soybeans. So, if we say, but also we need straw and food for maybe our chicken. So, we need to do wheat. And after learning about our situation with our fields, I say, because if you get 61, but how much is that? Nope, not gonna get that anytime soon. I think if we can get these cut, and then we'll may have to plow them perhaps, get a field out of them, that's, that'd be fine. And then we can just have our grass fields here, so 63, let's connect to our cow fields. 64, 66, what's bigger, 64 or 63? Perhaps I'll say 63, just about. Well, comes part of the farm, so don't know for sure. But anyways, that means we need to go and find was it 63? Nope, 64. I think if we try to get both done today, get those in. So if you get those two fields done, mode, wind road, app, put into storage, then you know what? I'll be fine with that. So cut across here, mind the gate. Watch it properly, we don't have this issue. Try not to hit anything too much. Won't damage our brand new equipment, especially our mower. And as well as just hedges, so just slight scuff on the paperwork more than anything else. So get that done. Yeah, it's a bit of a Coke Bowl esque entrance, but you know what? That'll be fine. I think it take us too long to get this all done. I think get it done before sunset's too much to the point where it becomes quite difficult to see what we're doing in the dark, and then in October. Start with doing some of those contracts, get his contracts smashed out of the way, just so that our cows have some foods at least. Because, yeah, our cows at the moment are just having grass, it's okay, this will be productive somewhat. They like a good old forage, so then we will keep the on with this and then. We'll see where we stand afterwards. Uh, 
actually. Anyway, is there any... I think I saw a collectible around here. Hey, I saw some fish in there. An old water wheel. Now, I did see some collectibles on my travels. Because, yeah, we can go in and collect some of these. Definitely help us with the farming app. Let's get a drone out. Let's see where it is. I swear there's some along this bank in here. Ah, it's over there. There's one there. And there's another one here. So at least one next to the field, so... Actually, what? Let's quick grab that now, actually. But yeah, we did lease the equipment for one side contrast, just because we need the bell wrapper. Because overall, that's what? A couple of hundred quid we're we'll to pay for that. And that is a water tree. need to find nine more of those. I'm sure a lot of them's going to be scouted around the other farms and that. I'm going, to, I'm going to actively hunt them. If we come across them, we will go and fetch them. But besides from that, I'm not sure how much it is. I think it's, it's 100 grand we get if we get a full set. So potentially a million quid in collectibles. Because they are quite desirable, those old wooden toys. You know, handcraft ship toys and that are these are quite rare to come by, so that's why they fetch a high commodity price. But anyways, we'll get these fields done. And yeah, we'll just see where we stand afterwards.
or a nice crisp October morning. A bit later on in plan, that's just because we've been busy. Starting off doing a contract. The fields at neither side is, they've been mowed and wind road. And the hay field just across our property. That's been tedded and wind road. But if we have a look. 67% and we've got 350,000 litres of silage. That is a nice amount and as we do our morning check on our cows. These calves have run out of milk. But the cows themselves, I thought they would be producing milk in that but they're not. And why is that? Even the effectiveness, even 60% doesn't produce all the milk. You think. Hmm. Well, yeah, slightly needs to be done to sort so. But anyway, so. I'll hop into here. And we're going to start off by doing the hay field. So it's just across here. The, the wind, no, that's the tether over there. And basically, yeah, giant bells come in because that is a nice pile. Yeah, let's stick with 187 your bells. I will not skim the edges because I do want to get myself crossed up in. And let's grab a bunch more. Nope, no, don't go into those, that pile. There we go. He's just having to do these giant bloody piles of hay. Definitely making the bait situation a lot quicker. That's cost off, obviously, spending a bit of extra time doing the wind rowing. There we go. But yeah, all this hay we will sell. We won't keep anything for ourselves now, I don't think. But yeah, glad we're doing 180, you know, like 150 centimeter bells. If we get to the end, then yes, I'll go to 150 centimeter bells, so that. Yeah, let's say if we get 40% of a 150 centimeter bell, I can still be used to make silage in that, so. That's a crucial thing to think about as well. There we go, another bell. Wish we had like, the quick bell in that, that would be. fun, how would it be? Or in the bigger capacity bells, possibly, but. Now, uh, we don't need those here. So that is already seven bells. Uh, if I had to guess, get another four of these. There we go. Of course, the morning haze on the ground. It does sort of blend in the like, spore bits of hay and I to the field. Also, as you may have seen in the time lapse, we did start doing a bit of slurrying on our field, so the old wheat field and the first grass field we done. We put an application of slurry over that. However, I think we're gonna need to plow the fields because those are good at the fields. And to get that environment score up, we need to rip up those fields and plow them so that's gonna be a bit of a pain in the bum but I'll do it for some of the fields like our arable fields but most of it I wouldn't bother to be honest I just don't see the point in it it's 
more lights on there. There we go. We can actually see where we're going now. But, well, anyways, for now what I'm going to do is finish the rest of this off. And then we'll come back once we get the bell loader in. Because we'll bring the bell loader in, get all these picked up and sent off to... Where do they need to go? Night one. Oh, the garage. Fair enough. Well, that's easy enough for me, so... Yep, I'll crack on this. I'll see you folks in a few seconds here. And there we go, getting away off the other local farmers by the looks of it. Nice Valtra. Is that the Valtra? No, that's a Fia... Oh, what's it? Yeah. I can't remember it is. I've used one of these before, but they're quite nice tractors here. But it means serving the locals. So we've done you know, 12 bells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 12 hay bells. So most likely half of these will be profit for us. So, And that may when do these contracts is important for us, we need to do them. Just because of the money situation, we're spending about 2500 a day, almost three grand a day almost, on water. Very long on the month of the year apparently, but I guess that makes sense. Cold weather, calces, active, I don't know, but Regardless, they're using a lot more water at the moment compared to in August, as an example, so... We'll still monitor that today, see if it's the same rate in October as it is September. But still, regardless, that feeding situation needs to get on top off. The bather, luckily enough, has got 49% off of a 157 year bell. Perhaps if I went around to get every last little fizzy bit, we'll get a 125 centimeter bell's worth, but that will require getting another loader or something. Oops. There we go. Getting another loader in to take that one separately. Because this won't pick up a variety of bells, it won't pick up one bell type at a time. Or one bell size. That makes more sense, but anyways, off to the garage. So, dear, care for the wildlife. I do not want to get in trouble with the old bill. Come on, that way. Anyways, looks clear, and we're out of here. Uh, scraping the fence there a little bit. Tis, but a scratch. Should make sure our beacons are on. Yep, they're on. But man, this tractor's getting filthy, like absolutely muddy. See our even our muddy boots are in here. Oops. I say summer brakes on. Oh man, the local Irish tra traffic are definitely some kind of specialty for sure. Am I going the right way? Nope, I'm going the complete opposite direction. Ah, uh, this is going to be fun. If we turn in there and come back on ourselves. What clearance have I got? See ya. Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, as I said, what did I just say about the local Irish? Um, drivers, um, I'll take that back now. Sorry, perfect use of the horn there. Well, anyways, let's go to the garage and let's get rid of these hay bells. Then, after that, got two lots of slice bells to do, but at different cell points. And there we go at the shop or the garage. Also, just wondering 
when it was going to open up. Oh yeah, forgot we left our trader here and need to pick that up at some point. I'm sure the local folks here at the garage are like, whose trader is this? My bed. That looks correct. Yep, just thrown in. Our mirror, use our right mirror as a guideline, but there we go. And we just going off, off loadies now, so to correct for a little bit so we don't hit the top end of the trader. And that's the contract done. Plus an extra 10 grand. Or 8,700 quid. You know what? That, I can... I'm happy with that. Okay, why is that sticking out? There we go. Now fold it back up. So now we need to pick up bells from field 59. So 59, those bells, on them we need to be there and then pick it up. So 59, if we can get to the contract menu, somewhere. So 59 is going to the Buy Spring Mart, where's that? Ah, right, it's just north, so literally just around the corner then from 59. And then field 20, that requires to the BGA, if I'm correct, so... Just looking at the map here, with field 20, if you go down at the end of the road, if you go left, then follow it straight down for 59 towards there, or I think well, when we leave field 20, we can go right and take the long way around. I'll have a look at that part of the map. I've not seen that yet. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is a time lapse of getting all this done. And I'll bring folks back once we've done field 20, got that loaded up, and then we'll drive to the BGA. And yeah, I think that's where I'll leave it for today. Next episode, we may look at ripping up those fields eventually and get a seed in. But yeah, so far, so good.
is the bathing done. Finally, we've got 24 size spells here. Can okay, we get out of here? Of course we can. A little scooter in the boop. But yeah, so that took a bit longer than planned. Ooh, turn that back up. Turn that one's on a break. And yeah, so we've got a worker with the Deutz Far 6 series on its way to the BGA with the bell grab so we can put these bells into the BGA and whatever we don't need to put in we'll keep for ourselves and feed to our cattle because they need that TMR quite desperately hopefully just enough till this evening because it should be ready by around 7pm signage so if that's the case then we can just give that to the cows straight away and then what we'll do in November, which is the last day we can plant and plant and actually mow the grass, because it's not an all year round thing to be able to do. We're catching on, catching on that. Yeah, so we need to start really turning our fields over, like this month or next month. There we go. That's it. But yeah, so a lot of work we've got to do in the next episode, but for now we'll finish off the day, have a break with just having this little signage and I think in as usual be about I'll say sixteen, eighteen bells we have to sell, so where do you to go from here left? Yep. Come on and go. There we go. Just use the full width for the roads if we have to there because of our long loads. So yeah, we'll keep about six to eight bells. If I had a guess, seven. Let's go right bang in between. Whoa. What are you break checking there for, bud? Christ. By the way, heads to the BGA, see how much we can get away with keeping, and we'll go from there. And there we go, just crossing into the village now. And I think that's actually our tractor just ahead of us that turned off. Is it? Oh well, yeah, that's our Deutz far there. Race away to the BGA, so... That actually was a perfect timing, actually. And that's spite of our little hiccups. We didn't have our hiccups with having the issue of a stone wall. Then we would have made it perfectly. Um, where are you going? Uh, not sure where our worker's going, but... How much do we weigh? Just out of curiosity. 23.67 tonnes. So as we did last time, we'll load these in here, so there's that fit in there, Vario. Not sure why that's still there, because we've returned all the equipment we needed. But, who knows. And actually, I want to wonder, how much would it cost us to acquire this BGA? If we have a little look. 875 grand. We'll get Surrey and I just see. So, yeah, possible opportunities there for us. I had looked at the dairy, and the dairy that is 75 grand to get, and I think we could go with the dairy now. I want to look production chains. Just for the simple fact that. Go. That's two bells there. Just have something on. But you're gonna go over the top. So I said they'll need about 16 bells, 17 bells. That's two. But yeah, this does make our life so much easier. So I have to lose it onto a trader if we need to. But I'm happy with this. 
comes for six percent, so so third, so number seven more, so that'd be eleven bells I'll need. So actually, we may be able to keep a lot more of these bells. Then on the first initially four. So that is one, two, three, four, three, six, nine, thirteen bells we've kept. Well, actually, that's a lot better than I initially thought. Uh, we'll just claim the money off these contracts. Boom, boom, boom. That is twenty-six grand that we just earned. And I won't do a more slightish contract, it's just a lot of work. But things like the t heads and that, like the hay contracts. 25. Okay, up there on the left. Is there any local to us? So we're looking at around the 60s, 80s, and that. One, where's that two? Or just by the shop? Oh, they want slice bells. Nope, thank you. One sixteen, where's that two? Oh, that's up. Actually, what? We'll do some of these. We'll accept that one. Accept that one. That's 800. Any more profitable ones? Just have a look at the map. 131, where's that to? The other side. So 25 is on the left there. 85 and 35. Yep, so yeah, we could do 25 and 35 in one go. Collect those bells and that, and those, because they're going to the same, same point. Then we'll go up to 116 and that, and get those done. But yeah, that's going to be for the next episode. And now, let's get these loaded up, take them back to the farm. And then, yeah, feed them to the cows. And there we go, with our 13 bells, which is 71,500 years off silage. But we're just in time to feed the cows, because we have a look. They've got a little bit of food left, but not a lot, so... Say... Give them to the cows. There we go. And I'll just push the rest of these in. There we go. So, how much feed is that for the cows? So, yeah, a little bit reasonable amount. Hopefully they can start producing some milk. They got straw. They got decent food now. So they should be start producing milk. If not, then I don't know. And our calves. 
Oh boy. There are foods, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're hungry. Well, not you are hungry, your little babies are hungry. How much is it going to be for a size bell? Really? Let's we'll buy two. For three, four hundred, as just an emergency provision. We'll grab you. Go to the shop and then pick them up. Yeah, I can't believe there are foods. But they won't have no food for much longer, just another four hours. By the moment, if it's normal cows, if they're full grown adults, then where am I going? Down near that's where that's where I'm going. If they were adult cows, a couple of hours without any feeds, ain't gonna do much harm for them, but these are our baby calves. Want to raise them, want them to mature, grow up, so yeah. We need to give us some food now. Maybe. Sorry, pedestrians. We've got an emergency here. Our cows need food. I should have checked before I put those ass bells in. Could have saved us three grand. Oh well, there's a side generative there. And that, that equipment's gone. It's the fence. On now. Oh, right, so the extra cone we had accidentally around the. There was a wind rover there, there was the even Vermeer one, and I think Vario, that's gone now. Fair enough. Bemies, let's get these two calves. And there we go, we have our size bells. Yeah, absolutely full here, but you know what? Those mistakes like these happen. We're so early, we haven't took care of calves before properly. So, yeah, that's my excuse. And who left the gate open? Well, of course, it's me by accident, but. Shove out of the way. Thank you very much. the silage and that is just a drop in the water for them. I expect it's about a hundred calves. These are gonna be some hungry bullies. So perhaps that silage there, all that's gonna be for the feed perhaps. Ideally need to find a silo storage for them, not sure if the main silo accepts TMR. Not TMR signage, but who knows. But anyways, minor disasters averted. Park up. And just put these away, so you... Just go over there. As our cows move away, they're happy they got some food now. But yeah, so next time, we need to start ripping up these fields, get them converted into a plow seat. But for as our wheat fields, we're going to do that, so... This is a power harrow and cedar, so hopefully this should work. But anyways, we will resume this in the next episode, but for now, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this has been Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.